what is stage 2 lung cancer how is it diagnosed what are the symptoms and how do we treat stage 2 lung cancer so in today's video we will talk about stage 2 lung cancer so stage 2 lung cancer is again defined by the TNM classification. In this stage, the tumor is more than three centimeters in size, but less than five centimeters in size in its maximum dimension, or the tumor is involving one of the main bronchus. In terms of N or nodal status, the tumor is only involving nodes around the lung or the hilar lymph nodes and it has not spread to lymph nodes in the mediastinum. And M has to be zero, which means there has to be no metastasis to the distant organs. This is stage two lung cancer. Stage two lung cancer can again be asymptomatic and picked up on routine investigations done for other reasons, or it can have symptoms like a cough that worsens over time or a cough that does not go away, the presence of blood in your cough or spare chest pain, back pain, shortness of breath while climbing stairs or while exercising, change of voice like hoarseness of voice or some other symptoms. Diagnosis of stage 2 lung cancer is again made with radiological means and tissue diagnosis. In radiology, we do a chest x-ray, a CT scan, a PET scan, and an MRI of the brain to confirm our diagnosis, to look at the extent of the tumor, to look at its spread in the body, and we do a biopsy, either CT-guided biopsy or an ultrasound-guided biopsy if it's in the peripheral part of the lung, or a bronchoscopic biopsy in the inner part of the lung. Often, rarely, we may also do a liquid biopsy. Once you have established a stage two diagnosis, now is the time to treat stage two lung cancers. So how do you treat stage two lung cancers? Stage two lung cancers are again treated by surgery upfront followed by adjuvant chemotherapy. So you do a surgery. The surgery for stage two lung cancers is usually a lobectomy, which means you remove the part of the lung which is affected by the tumor. For example, if the cancer is in the lower part of the right lung, you remove the right lower lobe, which is called right lower lobectomy. And along with it, you do a systematic mediastinal lymph node dissection, which means you will remove all the lymph nodes surrounding the lung, all the lymph nodes near the airway, all the lymph nodes near the food pipe, all the lymph nodes of the mediastinum, so as to achieve complete lymph nodal clearance. Now this surgery can be done by three ways. The first way is an open technique or a classic thoracotomy where you cut open the chest, spread the ribs, put your hands inside and remove the tumor. Or you can do it by minimally invasive means you either do it by a video assisted thoracoscopic surgery which is similar to laparoscopy or you do a robot assisted thoracoscopic surgery. The minimal invasive thoracic surgery is very popular these days because it is less morbid, has less blood loss, is less painful, has better cosmesis early discharge from hospital and early return to work. Once you've done the surgery, you've sent the sample to the lab, the lab will analyze the specimen, run a certain tests on it, find what's the exact tumor biology. They can also look for certain mutations. They can also look for immune changes in that sample and then give you a final report. After the final report is delivered, these patients are invariably subjected to chemotherapy. This chemotherapy that's given after a surgery is called adjuvant chemotherapy. Adjuvant chemotherapy can be given up to almost six cycles after the surgery. There's also growing evidence for the use of preoperative chemoimmunotherapy for resectable lung cancers. The Checkmate 816 trial talks about giving chemotherapy, platinum-based, along with nivolumab which is a form of immunotherapy to one group of patients and chemotherapy alone to another group of patients and both these group of patients then underwent surgery which means lobectomy and lymph node dissection and what they found out was that the complete pathological response was higher in the group that received preoperative chemotherapy plus nivolumab versus the group which only got chemotherapy 24 percent versus two percent and also the event-free survival was better with the arm of chemotherapy plus immunotherapy preoperatively. There is another concept, immunotherapy and chemotherapy for stage two patients, which is called perioperative uh, chemoimmunotherapy. So there's a drug called pembrolizumab, which is a form of immunotherapy. So there was a study which talked about giving preoperative pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy followed by surgery 
and then giving adjuvant immunotherapy with pembrolizumab again to one group of patients versus another group of patients which only got preoperative chemotherapy plus a placebo followed by surgery followed by adjuvant placebo again. When these two groups were compared, the scientists, the researchers found out that the event-free survival was higher in the group that received perioperative pembrolizumab which means pre-surgery and after surgery. They also found that the overall survival was better with perioperative pembrolizumab although not statistically significant and also the pathological complete response and major response were better in the arm that received perioperative immunotherapy. So to summarize there are a lot of treatment options for treating stage 2 lung cancer and if we aggressively treat stage 2 lung cancer the overall prognosis or the overall survival is pretty decent. We are talking about a five-year survival of close to 50 to 70% for stage two lung cancers.